welcome back to Ship Happens. These videos are about us restoring a 1943 HDML. She was actually used in D-Day, so she's quite a historic boat. So we're working our way through and refreshing all the woodwork that needs to be done. So today we are going to get two new web frames done. when we are putting the new copper through is hitting the original so I'm just going to get some masking tape and I'm just also going to mark where the originals are so when we're drilling our new holes we're not going to hit the copper so if I put a bit of masking tape there so initially I didn't quite understand what she meant but that's quite a good idea and then I'll go right there's the copper nail and line it there so we know not to drill there <laughs> so if I just do that with all of them then hopefully we won't have any clashes there'll always be clashes you almost got your grey hair then John it's paint <laughs> gonna go outside and sink in the mud again i really i didn't like that last time yeah i'm gonna go sink in the mud and i think if you do get stuck i'm gonna shout Gemma come film me because it's quite entertaining getting out so the threaded bar is going in just temporary um until we put the copper nails and roves in so it's just helping shape the framing to position so we're putting these in we need the top to face the front to be able to get it in because of all the angles but I can't turn it round down here so I have to take the wood all the way upstairs to turn it round Typical woman who in a tight space can't turn round And down we go 
get me steps in for the day, don't I? Oh, I've got the head hops. So we just go. <laughs> go on. You've caught it wrong. I can't even think about. That's good, you didn't. I can't even think of a good scare for her today. I'm feeling a bit like when you, know, you go out uh, in one of them like low energy days. That's me today, so. Doing good though. Hold on. It's like a puzzle, isn't it? Double show! Oh, that piece of wood's in the way! Oh, there you go. Woo! Yeah, bruv. Yeah? It is that amazingly heavy, the rinse at the end. Yeah. Well, it looks really good, that. Done! With a three in. Done! And two on that side. <laughs> yes. new web frames in and we are going to start copper ale and roving them now but what we're going to do we're on a bit of a time crunch today because it's actually tuesday and the kids are in school so we've got literally an hour now before we have to leave to go and pick the kids up from school so we're going to concentrate and get the copper roves done below the waterline and then we're going to come back in put the floor back in fit the knees and then next time we might have to finish the copper nails and roves if we haven't got time to do it today but our priority is we want to get the knees back in as structural support so let's get roving so i brought Gemma outside remove some bowl supports so where we need to get to now is here so i need to drill at that angle See that pretty bar there, so we'll do some um what do you call it? Landscaping. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got now I've got a piece of wood I can stand on. Where's the shovel, Joe? Um That's take a that, hammer. Take that That's a hammer. <laughs> I've got no hands. <laughs> this this isn't gonna go well, is it? On there as well. On there. Come on, little man. Come on. Oh, there's a big one behind Where? you on the board. Oh, he's gone now. I just can't like the woodwork. Come on, it's okay. Did he bite? <laughs> Come on, it's okay. A crab. Hello. Hello, someone. Right. So play with your crabs. Go back to work. That's what she said. So the main reason we're digging a hole to drill it from. The outside is, if you remember last last time we did our split frame and we drilled it and we bolted it, so we probably drilled it from the inside. But we need to now know where the hole is, so we need to come from the outside. Good fun there. Yeah. 
you dare me? No. <laughs> do you want to divorce today? <laughs> I'm going down. <laughs> so much I've gone. Yeah, that's good. Oh yeah, look at that now. <laughs> well, I can stand still. <laughs> So the floor doesn't fit too great now, but because we're in such a time rush, we're not going to stress over it and we're going to get the knees up. And next time we come, we'll sort the floor out. There's actually no, on the knees this side, you know, this side was all stamped like S and one, two, three, four. Mm. There's no markings on any of the knees on these ones that I've done so far. But I've so just... The ones without the S on it, basically, the port side. Yeah, mm. but usually it'll go one, two, three, yeah. four. So I would have thought this side, it would have been like P1, P2, P3, P4. And there's no markings whatsoever. So I think in future when we're taking two off at once on the starboard side, we'll we'll mark them ourselves to know when which way where they go back. But I figured it out for now, so let's get these off. So what we're doing now is just making sure all the beams are straight before we put the knees in. And we're doing this because when it comes to replacing the deck beams, we know that they're, they're all level. Is that right? Oh, it's time for me. I'll hold this off. Drill it. Outside, and we're done for the day. Better go and pick the kids up before we're late. So, we've been talking this week, and it's so dark and gloomy down here. Um, and because the front is now so much more structurally sound, we're gonna put some windows back in. We're gonna keep these supports, but we're gonna put them in from the stringers. 
and we're gonna get some windows back in next time so that'll be really exciting to be able to like look out because when we're down here we you know apart from obviously fake lights it's just so like dark and dreary and you never get to see outside so i'm quite looking forward to putting some windows back in How are we looking? Okay. So, port side. One, two, three, four more web frames to do. Starboard side. One, two, three, four, five. One side closer. Considering we can we do like two at a time now. Obviously, I think the starboard tower we've got frames and webs to do at the same time. Um, but we're getting there quickly before we have to leave. We've had a lot of people asking about what the aft end is like, since that's going to be probably the next area once we've finished here. Yeah. So, should we go and have a very, very, very quick look? Have you looked in there recently? I haven't either. No. <laughs> is it still there? Should we go and see? <laughs> So as you can see, it's become a bit of a dumping ground, but the transom needs maybe replacing. So yeah. that is going to be a massive job and a job that we're going to have to do when we've got really low water, because yeah. obviously you don't want to take the bum of your boat off <laughs> and go, ah, the tide's coming in. It's going to take some serious thinking into some, some, some tactical work. But... Yeah. And then a lot of woodwork again. Yeah. So. It's up bad. Be fun in here, Joe. To be honest, apart from like a couple of stringers, the um the frames aren't as obviously rotten no. as the end. Obviously, we've not poked into them whatsoever yet. Well, I think our next step in here is clean it all out. <laughs> yeah. Come in here with a jet wash, jet wash the whole thing, mm -hmm. and um more lights. Yes. Yeah, because we've got one very pitiful light at the moment. Yeah, and then we'll have a good um. Good luck on it. I know who this would be a good job for. Who? Hi Robbo! <laughs> hey mate! <laughs> hey, you'd enjoy this. So, maybe we can get some people down to start on this so we can fully yeah. assess it because we do need it all cleaning out and emptying so we can assess it. But also, this cabin could do it coming up behind yeah, us. Yeah, because I want to see what all the rest of it is like down there. Because this. we can see into the two bathrooms. So. We can't see anything in here because obviously no. it all needs taken out. But I did look at a lot. Beam shelf is good. Ah, oh, cool. Um, but yeah, the whole one's coming out. So this needs removing. We can, use, we can actually use this area as our like staging area as well for when working in there. So. Yeah. And then I'll quickly show you in the toilet. So this one is quite a bad area. Um, because obviously this was a shower room, so you would have had a lot of humid and damp conditions. But I know this beam shelf looks really bad, but this is the original beam shelf. This actually doesn't really do anything at the moment because the, the beam shelf has been moved to up here and this one is good. And um, this is just ply, so that's easily fixed. So But well, then if you go three foot forward yeah it's really good. go into the forward head and obviously apart from the fake beam shelf yeah, the original uh, all this is painted and seems to be in good condition and then there's the new beam shelf up there two I think we'll start. We're definitely not going to vanish off YouTube soon. <laughs> We've got enough work to keep us going. So I think what we'll do is we'll we'll concentrate after we've done the front. We'll do the aft section, and yeah. then we'll do the starboard side because I don't really want to be ripping the kids' cabins out yeah, that's yet. That's all really good. 
Yeah, I've got it honestly, it's mint. It's like it's Well we'll do mint, some proper it. inspections behind there, so yeah. um it's all very well painted. Yeah. And it's been the starboard side that's got the biggest problems. I think whoever was on the job, the apprentice at the time, who was painting the inside of they probably had two. <laughs> So we got the the, the, the star beside <laughs> the, the crap apprentice. apprentice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that is all going to be our next few months, years. years. <laughs> so subscribe well, to watch years and years and years worth of boat work. A lot of woodwork and I was like, oh, well, I will. No, no hair. Gemma might be catching me up soon. Do you know I didn't have a grey hair until we bought Sorinda yeah. and now I'm nearly more grey than the boat is. Yeah. But sort of blend in with the <laughs> camouflage into my surroundings. Yeah. But we are really enjoying the boat work. So unfortunately we've got to go and go and get the kids from school. Yeah. So it was over and out, isn't it? See you next week. Thank Cheers you so guys. much for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye bye.